if you want to watch the Olympic Games, the best choice is probably watching an online stream of it as there are no audiences this year due to the pandemic. So you can be there to record and share the best moments of the athletes of your country. But don't worry, I'll show you a way you can get around this problem. Hi, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter. One of the perks of watching the Olympic Games online is that you can do it basically from anywhere. Who are you rooting for, by the way? Let us know in the comment section. Another one is that if you're doing that on your computer, you can also record it using the Uniconverter. And moreover, you can also edit and export clips in all sorts of formats of moments you'd like to share with your friends. I know you could just record the screen using your phone like this, but come on! We're more professional than that. When you open up the Uniconverter, go to Screen Recorder and choose Screen Recorder. You can choose to record the entire screen or select the custom aspect ratio, but it's best to record the whole screen in my opinion, as you can still crop the video and export it in different aspect ratios afterwards, but if you don't record something, it's just not gonna be there. To record audio, enable the microphone and choose an audio device. I'll go with the built-in microphone. In the advanced settings, you can choose an output folder and output format, set frame rate, quality and some other settings, for example the timer feature. So you could record an event starting at a time you're usually sleeping. The time difference between Tokyo and where you live might be enormous. It's 16 hours between Tokyo and Los Angeles, for example. So anyway, this way you will not miss anything. When you're done, just click on the big red rack button. While you're recording, you can take screenshots as well as draw on the screen. But watch this video where I talk about the screen recorder in even more detail. After you're finished recording, you can quickly continue working on your video by clicking right here and importing the video in one of the other tools. Let's go to the video editor. In the editor, you can crop, trim and color grade the video, add effect, subtitle and watermark to it, as well as modify audio settings. Before exporting, you can choose from many output format presets or create your own as well. Once your video clip is done, you can also create a GIF with the GIF maker. You'll find it in the toolbox. Just import the video to the GIF maker, set frame rate and size and then hit create GIF. And if you want to create a nice GIF of the best moments of the Olympics, you can create a couple of these videos and burn them on a DVD with the DVD burner. But more on that in this video. So there you go, this is how to record moments of the Tokyo Olympic Games and share it with your friends in a slightly more professional way. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks on video related content. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask us in the comment section. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video.